Part 7 of What If the Final Season of Game of Thrones was really good. So we open the episode on Kyburn, who just witnessed what Bran, Sansa, Arya, and Tyrion just did to mentally torture Cersei. And in knowing this, he goes off to tell Jamie, who upon hearing this is pissed and goes to talk to Tyrion. And Jamie goes to him like, why would you do that? You see what kind of a position she's in. There's no reason to torture her. She's, she's, she's humbled enough. And Tyrion's like, she tortured me my entire life. And we didn't kill her. I just wanted her to feel what I felt all the years that she's done that to me. And again, this is also another subtle power play for Tyrion because he was able to get Sansa, who is now Hand of the Queen, close to the person who's kind of tortured her her entire life. So it's really, it's really just a power game. He explains that to Jaime. Jaime still doesn't take that kindly and goes to Cersei's cell. And when he shows up there, she is super distraught, still like kind of tore up about what just happened. And she asks him to kill her. Jamie obviously doesn't do it, but he instead releases her. This, of course, is similar to what Jamie did for Tyrion in season four after Tyrion's trial. But the difference now is he's going against the wishes of the queen. And if Cersei gets wind of what their plan is, it could endanger all of them. So Jamie's really making probably a big mistake here, which totally goes along for his character because throughout the series, because of his love for Cersei, he really makes a lot of bad decisions. Cut to the members of our strike team and some others discussing how they're going to get into King's Landing and what their plan is to get close to the Night King. The first part of the plan is for Sir Davos to get the strike team into King's Landing via a different route than where the ships and all the fighting is going to be taking place in Blackwater Bay. Now, this part is important because if they aren't able to get in or are seen by any of the White Walkers because there's some sort of hive mind, the Night King will know where they are. That's why Daenerys and her dragon are so important to this plan, because if they're not able to distract the Night King away with his dragons and with all of his army, then they're in trouble. The next part, from when they get to the castle, Arya is supposed to lead them through the tunnel system that she was able to escape from in the first season. The problem is, it's been a long time since she was in the castle, so she's going to have to go by her memory, which eh, might be a little foggy. And the rest of the strike team, Melisandre the Hound and Jon, are there to fight off any of the White Walkers that come their way if they do end up finding them. As they finish discussing their plan, dusk turns to dawn, and they're all pulling in to Blackwater Bay. And what do they see when they get there? They see all the beaches of the bay lined with dead bodies standing there waiting for them. As well as two ice dragons hovering above their army just waiting in a stare down for the humans to attack. Like and follow for part eight.